Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. I know it's going to be hard for some of you to believe, but that was the sunrise just there. I headed out to do a hive removal at sunrise. By the time most of the rest of you are probably normally getting up. <laughs> Not me though. I'm a night owl. I don't normally get up until... Uh, so I'm running a little short on sleep. My eyes are burning a little. Ooh, there's a, I hit a deer in velvet. I can't go back and look at that. Didn't look like it messed him up too bad, but he's been laying there a little while. The wildlife's out this morning, ain't it? like it's gonna be a hot one and I worked up a pretty good sweat loading tools I don't even know if I got everything but I got my bacon that was the important part got my bacon and my drinks my waters better slow down that big old heavy nick box is wiggling around back there that's all I need for a solid wood nick to go in the front of somebody's car <laughs> here's what we're looking at today second story dormer right in that crack right there right where that eyebrow meets the, the flat you know how much I love heights. Fixing to get up there and see what I can do with this. They're in the they're in a high enough spot I can't stand on the roof and, and reach them. So it's, it's all ladder work on a slope, on a pitch, on mossy surface. It ain't too bad. We've been up there already, and it's not slick or anything. Just in a odd spot. So fixing to climb up there and get with it. I don't think that's gonna work. Got an old abandoned section of hive in here, and then the new hive below that. I didn't didn't think there would be space for them to get out, get back behind that wall. There he is, and there's no way my hand will fit in there. So hopefully, this hive doesn't go back that far. Man, I've been sitting here prying and pulling on a freaking rat carcass. There's a leg, there's a foot. I just pulled the other foot off of it before I realized what it was. There's the tail all propolized in here. These aren't Africanized bees, but I'd classify them killer bees because they killed that rat. Probably in here trying to give him some honey and they stung him all up. Or a squirrel, maybe it's a squirrel. It is a squirrel. I see the all the fuzz on the tail. Okay, there's the top of the hive, there's a dead squirrel. Goes down to there. It could potentially be back into here. Hope not, but it looks looks like it because it looks like they're packed in pretty tight. Looks like some older comb exposed there. Probably gonna be a decent size hive. I hope not, because there's not a lot of space to work in there. Got my back sitting on this ledge here. Okay, here's an inside view of, what, of where we're at. We're at in this curve here. Had to come down and take a break, find my knives. Even even in the shade, I'm cooking up there. This house is on the market. So if there's any high rollers out there trying to move to the Mississippi Gulf Coast, this might be your new spot.
There's even a nice wooded backyard right here close to the water. Mountain air hot up here. <laughs> Nobody's around. I can strip down. I don't have to try to look professional, but it's hard to look professional anyway when you're just dripping with sweat. I heard a photographer talking about photographing rock groups, rock concerts. He said they give you three songs. They give all the photographers three songs. So it took him a while to figure out why, and it's because after three songs, they start looking pretty nasty. Well, with me, you get the whole concert. Because <laughs> uh, about halfway through the first song, I'm drenched. Let me back up over here and show you what I got set up. Got my back plugged in the second story window. I'm standing on my little giant. This bottom slope's probably a four or five pitch. Top one goes up, looks like about an eight, seven or eight, something like that. Almost too steep to stand on and certainly too steep to rest my ladder on while I'm standing up there unless I had some tow boards nailed in. And they're already doing roof repairs, so I don't want to stab more holes in it. I've been on this ladder vacuuming for about an hour. My feet are starting to ache a little bit. Thinking about going up top, laying over the edge there, because that top slope right there is real shallow. I could lay down on that and reach around get them from that side but I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna vac one more time and start cutting cone well as you can see it's a pretty honey loaded hive I, I hate that I can't do anything with it but I you know I'll eat honey <laughs> out of about anything but I ain't eating honey with a dead squirrel in it and uh, as soon, soon as I cracked it open, the, the roaches went for it. So the roaches are fearless. I guess they uh, starving to death. I don't know. The the house is vacant, so there's not much here for them to eat. Bees ain't running them off too much either. They're kind of chasing them around a little bit. That's about it. But yeah, I'd like to taste the honey, but yeah, got a dead squirrel in it. Roaches are jumping right on the honey. I think I'll just feed it back to these bees when I get them set up. First brood comb. I got a layer. Just got to find it. Okay, I'm just getting a good start on cutting it. Just wanted to give you a quick look at where I'm at. I'm into brood and a whole lot of honey. The honey looks really good. That hole is down through, looking down through the rib cage. There's a roach gnawing on the leg of the squirrel. Now I'm guilty of eating just about anything, and I want to taste this honey some kind of bad. That squirrel carcass is just kind of turning me off to it. <laughs> there, is a, there is a story of somebody eating honey out of a dead carcass. It was Samson in the Bible ate honey out of the car carcass of a lion that he had killed previously. When he passed back by it, it had bees in it. But that dude was a special kind of tough. I ain't going to claim to have the, the strength or the uh, maybe even the immune system that God gave that dude. I think I'll stick to honey out of a good clean hive. There's the last comb. I think I sucked up the queen earlier by accident, but I'm still looking just in case. About to wrap it up and let these jokers have it. Last comb, I've been up here almost six hours. I'm ready to get this thing done. This is where I sign out. <laughs> <laughs> Job's done. I just gotta put the tools up. I'm spent. Sting count was about a dozen, I think. Most of them were right when I first opened it up. And uh, 
total work time. I started at 7.45 this morning. And it's 12.45 now. So, was that six hours? Five hours. Wasn't super huge. Just loaded with honey and just in a hard spot to get to. Another hour later, and I'm rolling out. Finished for real this time. I had to put up the tools. And then I just laid out there and had me a little minor heat stroke just for the fun of it. I'm oh, going better keep that thing on the ground today. <laughs> He's got his water skids on though. All that rain, he gonna need it. I'm all cooled off now and headed to get something to eat. Go put these bees in a box. Job's still not done, see it's been uh, seven hours. I still got work to do. I gotta clean my tools up, put them up, put the bees in a box. You're talking about 10 hours for a high removal. Had a serious case of the cotton mouth. Had to stop and give me something. Not a coffee drinker, but I'm gonna try one of these out. They're not bad. I have one every once in a while. It's kind of taking care of my situation. Water wasn't doing it. <laughs> I almost didn't even think to video this. So here's my vac box sitting next to the nuke with five frames of brood in it. They're kind of taken to it. When the sun sets, I come over here and force them in it. Take that uh, vac box away. And all the comb I cut out, this is a two gallon bucket. It was pretty well full. So I'm letting all my bees rob it. This is what our robbing frenzy looks like. I had these foundations sitting over it because it's been raining off and on. Give you a quick look. I don't want to stay here too long. I'm all cleaned up now and I don't want to get bee poop all over my clean shirt. So that, that bucket was really, I didn't mash it down, but it was pretty good and full of honey. 